Welcome to the Koenigsegg stand at the Geneva Motor Show 2019 and one of the stars of the show, I think. Given this is a show of fairly crazy numbers, this possibly has some of the craziest numbers of all. Let's start with a theoretical top speed of over 300 miles an hour. Yep, they haven't tested it yet and obviously they would need tyres to be able to well, cope with those speeds, but they're saying that this should do it. Obviously they already hold the record, I think 277 miles an hour, so they just need to find a driver crazy enough to go that little bit further. Anyway, let's talk about some of the tech in here. We've got a uh, 5 litre twin turbo V8 in the back, now with a flat plane crank. Um, apparently sounds very different, obviously, because it's got a flat plane crank. Uh, the lightest crankshaft they're saying, um, I think in the world, um, is 12 point something kilos significantly bigger turbos on the engine now as well and they've got a carbon fiber tank that's filled up with air and then squirts jets at 20 bar into the turbos to help them speed up and um, spin up i suppose and therefore negate any turbo lag the power outputs well on e85 fuel biofuel this will do 1600 brake horsepower and over 1100 pounds foot of torque that's probably not the most extraordinary thing though, the fact that it has a nine speed gearbox on three input shafts with six ratios, two ratios on each shaft, adding up to nine gears and basically seamless shifting. It's a gearbox they've designed in-house. They couldn't buy one obviously from the Chiron, so to deal with it, they had to design it in-house. And in here, we now have obviously paddle shifts on the wheel, but also the gear lever here. Do that, one, one forward, goes down one gear all the way forward it goes to the gear that is most effective also with these nine speeds obviously you've then got a very short first gear and also a very tall top gear um, so it's much better on the motorbike much nicer much easier to cruise around in. the name of the car Jesko that is well in tribute to Christian von Koenigsegg's father and it's a, a present to him to thank him for all his support over the years and he wanted it as fries so they actually drew up sort of fake press releases to show him in the lead up and they only announced the name when they got to the show here which i think is pretty rather nice other things to highlight in the interior well we've got this display here which actually a bit like the badges on a rolls royce wheel i saw them described as they or it stays level like that as it goes around so this moves with the wheel but it tilts as you go around. We've also got an analogue G meter up there which looks as though it might get in the way of your view but um, it's pretty cool nonetheless. The carbon tub is now slightly larger so we've got a little bit more room in here before you can still take the roof off but it's now bolted on so you need an allen key to take it off just to give you a bit more torsional rigidity. Quite a lot this would be like 300 miles an hour. It won't do 300 miles an hour with the roof. It's not getting to it. It's a silly thing to say. More aero. 800 kilos at 155 miles an hour and over 1400 kilos near its top speed they're saying which is bonkers so there we are that is the new Koenigsegg Jesko is this the star of the show I think we need to go and drive one 